All right. I'm riding around trying to make a video because it's Tuesday and we're going to do it right here, right now. So, all right, right off the bat. What about the gays in the military, right? Like, oh my God. Well, how could that be? Okay, what? what, what okay, okay. Ooh, kisses, yeah. I, I got my dog with me too. We're going to take him for a W. And, uh, no, I personally, if you need people to be in your military, you know, like if you're having recruiting problems and you're not meeting your quota, what's it matter if you get some gays? I know, I know, Rowdy. Come on, hold on, bud. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Can you scoot over? Thank you. You know, they're letting in more and more people, like with uh, criminal backgrounds not being as big as a concern. You know, oh, thanks, buddy. Rowdy, what are you doing? You know, criminal backgrounds not being such a big problem. Height and weight. Oh, okay. oh Rowdy, can you scoot over? Scoot over, buddy. Oh, so I know. I love you, too. All right, scoot over. Good boy. You know, Basically, I think if you need the people, and people want to join, take them. It doesn't matter if you're gay or straight, black or white, Mexican, it don't matter. You know, if you want to fight for the country, fucking fight for the country. And it, it would just, oh, it'd kill me to get a dishonorable discharge for being gay. Like, that would suck. And it would suck to have to, like, hide who you are throughout your entire military career, you know? That just wouldn't be no fun at all. So I personally think the don't ask, don't tell policy is just a big bag of hot garbage. All right. Now, Becky, buddy, what are you doing, man? Come on, screw over, buddy. All right. Now, okay, all right, wait, what, what? You're a good boy. You just want to be in the video? Is that what you want to do? All right, Becky was talking about what kind of guys we're into. Yeah, she was. And... You know, I'm a fan of, like, the confident guy, not cocky. There is a huge difference between confident and cocky, and it's a thin line to walk. You know, I like confident guys. I like guys who, you know, similar interests. That always helps. Big fan of, like, guys who want to go out and do stuff, go outdoors and do things, not just sit around all day, you know. I love the outdoors, and if you love the outdoors, too, even better, baby. All right, now, guy was asking about, like, gay hate within the gay community, and I agree, there's no use for it, like, none at all, you know, it's pretty much, it's fucking retarded that it happens, and it's stupid, retarded and stupid, oh, I got big words, nah, it's just fucking, I ain't got no, I don't know, I hate it. But has it personally happened to me? No. No, I haven't had any, uh, like, hatred from other gays upon myself. But ever since I was a little guy, I've been getting called the name Ben Gay. My name's Ben. That's true. And there's a fucking, like, pain relief medicine here in America called Ben Gay. And... Oh my god, ever since second grade, motherfuckers been like, thinking they're witty and calling me that shit, you know? And it's like, whatever. Yeah, haha, you're funny. I mean, how come this medicine's not called, like, Ted Gay or, or Greg Gay? Why is it gonna be Ben Gay? What the fuck's up with that? I don't know, this time take Rowdy for a W-A-L-K, baby. Come on, buddy, let's go. <laughs> You jumping? Oh, yes. All right. So, yeah, never had any gay hate. And if someone were to for fucking gay or just like some fucking straighty talking shit, you don't talk shit, all right? I don't like fighting. I like MMA, but like street fighting and all that, I don't like it. But if you come at me, you try to fucking do something, oh, you're in for a world of fucking hurt. Sorry, I was cussing. It's just how it is. You know, it's like... Like the rage, you just get engulfed in this rage. And then afterwards, I feel horrible. I'm like shaky and all that shit, you know? But I ain't gonna let anybody put their goddamn hands on me. That ain't gonna fucking happen. I'll just tell you that right here, right now. All right, on to other questions. How about that deal at the fucking, with the gays in Atlanta and getting fucking like arrested and what have you by the fuzz? Well, 
All right, I've lived in Georgia. I've lived in South Carolina. It is the Bible Belt, extremely conservative part of America. Uh, when I was in second grade and the Ben Gay joke started, that was when I lived in Georgia. So, I mean, it's totally different. It's not, you know, Massachusetts, Vermont. It's not California. It's not Chicagoland. It is the southeast of America, the Bible Belt, and oh, he's not like asking for it, you know, but it's just different. It's not as open as the rest of America. It's just not. All right. Now, Peter was asking, if you could go out to dinner with one person, who would it be and why? And I agree, you can hear this question quite often, but it's fun to get the answers. So I'm going with. Andre Arlovsky. That's right. He's my favorite mixed martial arts fighter ever. I've talked about him on here plenty of times. I love the guy. And it's not just like this crazy fantasy. Oh, my God, wouldn't that be cool? No. Like, he has a lot of competitions on his website. Like, he's had some for knocking out dog fighting, T-shirt designs, other things. You know, if you win the contest, you can go out to Chicago Spend the day with him. Go out, go eat, go train. Just see the sights and sounds of fucking Chicago, you know? So it's not a, like a crazy dream. Like, this will never happen. He still has competitions, and I have the chance to go and hang out with my favorite fighter, like a role model, just a hero of mine. I love this man, and I have the chance to possibly one day do that. So it's like I'm chasing a dream that is obtainable. And he's gone out with people before, and apparently he's a huge fan of Greek food. <laughs> yeah, right on. I like Greek food. Nothing wrong with it. And Hell's Bells, maybe, maybe we could go to Fogo de Chao. It's this Brazilian steakhouse in Chicagoland area, and I've never been there, but it's on my fucking to-do list. And if I ever won a contest to go meet Andre Arlovsky... If he didn't want to eat Greek food and he wanted Brazilian food, oh, hell's bells, you bet your ass we'd be going. Well, that's who I pick, Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. All right, now, I've told everybody all about the MMA and getting your opinions for this reason. You know, I told you that story to tell you this story. This link in the side is, in my opinion, the most homophobic moment in all of mixed martial arts, if not in all of sports. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to check it out. It takes like 10, 12 seconds, maybe. That's all it is. Short video. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Because it is just, it's disgusting. It makes me hate the MMA a little bit. Because they will show this clip over and over again. And it's almost like a, yeah, you're badass for doing it type of deal. Not at all. So give me your opinion on this video. All right, thanks, guys. All right, now, guy, this one goes out to you. I suggest you go to the beach and maybe you forget your shirt, huh? Maybe you do that. Because here in the Midwest, all we have is soybean fields and corn fields for as far as the eye can see. And here and there, maybe you have a tree in the way. But I love me the beach, and I'm sure it would look a little bit hotter if you forgot to wear your shirt. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so I lied. In Charleston, Illinois, there's only about 21,000 people, but I would guarantee we probably have like 5 million pieces of corn.